I don't know how you guys feel, but the low angle of my camera from my laptop as I look at myself on Zoom is pretty horrible. So I'm going to make a periscope that raises that up, gives it a more flattering angle as I'm looking at myself and teaching you guys on Zoom all the time. I call it my Zoom periscope. Now that we have our designs done, it's time to make a paper model. So this is going to help us figure out the size of our periscope, but also how it's going to attach to whatever it's going to attach to, whether you're going to wear it or it's going to be, um, I don't know. In my case, it's going to be attached to a computer. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how tall and how big to make it. So I'm using the dimensions of the first periscope that I made and I'm just cutting it out of printer paper. Remember, the more problems you solve at a paper, the further along you're going to be when you actually start making it. And I'm cutting and folding as many of the pieces together as I can just to save a little bit of time. And if two are going to be exactly the same size, might as well do them at the same time. So now I'm just going to tape it together and I'm using a whole sheet of paper here just because I'm not sure exactly how tall I want to make it. I think I'm probably going to end up trimming this down a little bit. Alright, now that I got it together, I'm going to see how big I want it. And, yep, sure enough, it's a little bit tall, so I'm just going to start whacking some off the ends. And then put it back in my computer and check it out. Yeah, I'm liking how big that is. I'm going to go with that. So now I'm going to use what I just made to make some end pieces that I can tape on, and that's going to make the whole structure a little bit more rigid and it's going to look more like the original periscope that I made. So now just to tape them on. Once I get it all together, now I need to figure out how it's going to attach the computer. I originally thought that I'd cut a slot through the bottom and it'd just slip over there. So now I'm trying to figure out what kind of angle I want to do with that. And uh, I'm just not getting the angle right. So. Hmm. As I'm thinking about this more and more, I'm wondering if there's a better way. What if I just made a flap on the back and that flap would just fit over the edge? That way I could adjust the angle to anything that I wanted. And I think it'd be a little simpler. So I'm going to give that a shot. So I'm going to add some reinforcing tape to those corners and start cutting out a flap. And sure enough, that worked pretty well. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. That way I'm going to have room for the mirrors on the sides too. So now I'm just trying to plan out about where the mirrors are going to go. And how big they're going to be. And yeah, that looks about right. So I just got to do the bottom one too. And with that flap, it leaves me plenty of room for the mirror on the side. 
And that's looking pretty good. One thing about a paper model, you can solve a lot of problems in three dimensions. You can't always solve with two dimensions. All right, guys, let's start making our mock-ups.